and welcome to Rewatch Party, where we want to have s s s sex. Is that's true of you guys too, right? Of course, all the time. Someone please fuck me. <laughs> well, now that I don't seem the most desperate, I'm very desperate. <laughs> No, the yeah, you're right, Zach. I'm intensity. sorry, I interrupted you. Please talk more about this. I'm very desperate. So I, I don't care who you are. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm not gay, but like 20 bucks is 20 bucks. I so will... 20 bucks? <laughs> uh... So, um, any, any, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, you know what, you know what, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt DM you, Harrison, but I do want to unpack this a little bit. So you're mm -hmm. begging anyone for sex and you said, I'm not gay, but I yeah. need 20 bucks. Yeah. Does anyone have to pay you? So this is, this is a business proposition. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but like, you know, <laughs> sometimes, you know, if it's like for like travel expenses and stuff, it's travel just, you expenses. seem pretty <laughs> Oh, I mean, I need oh right! Sex. I'm sorry. I need to I get laid, you, and I also need to pay my rent. They're paying for your train ticket, so you can come have sex. Yes, I mean it's only the responsible thing to do is to pay for. Your yeah, right, I'm so struggle. sorry. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Fair. Yeah, the implication is I will have sex with a man, but only if they're within, like, yeah. not like. So, so when you say twenty dollars, like that's your way of saying like at least like, I need to be able to travel. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like have sex with a guy. Who's like nearby? Because then that's gonna be like really awkward. Like, what if I go to like Target or something, and they're <laughs> there, and we just like look at each other awkwardly, and it's like, you know, I don't want that. I want someone like a far enough away that like you gotta pay twenty dollars. Yeah, because because my my thing was the way you phrased it was like you were saying you were really desperate, but then you were also uh -huh. like, but also you have to pay me, yeah. which which implies that like you don't want to do it. It's it's only fair. I mean, I'm going out all this way. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying it makes much more sense that now you're like, okay, it's travel expenses. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd assume that I, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, they gotta be a gentleman about okay, it. I just, I want to put on the record, uh, Tyler has texted that he hates this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should maybe start the actual episode. I, I'm Harrison Bloom. <laughs> I'm Zach Horowitz, I guess. <laughs> this is gonna be posted on the internet. <laughs> We didn't have to start with s -s -s sex. We chose to do this. I'm very happy where this is Guys, going. Guys, Carly is packing her bags for a girl's trip. Yeah, that's how this episode starts for real. <laughs> and it's it's going to be Carly, Harper, and Brooke. It's going to be great. Who the fuck now, is Brooke? Now, you might be asking yourselves, <laughs> who is Brooke? And dear listener, we're going to tell you, just not now. <laughs> You know, I'm in, I don't know what's up with me today. Zach. <laughs> you guys go on. Zach, you're a valuable person. Thank you. You're, you're good enough. And I love you. Thank I you. just want you to take a deep breath and Will stop. Will you pay $20 for me to come over? <laughs> <laughs> we're like across the country. Yeah, we're you. across the country right now. I don't, it's a cheap flight. <laughs> I, I'm not paying From New Jersey $20. to Los Angeles is a cheap flight. I mean, if you a find, $20 I mean, if you flight. Fly, like, well, yeah, on the planes I mean, that, that Zach flies on, I mean, this is... <laughs> I just want to, in advance, warn the audience, uh, I'm so sorry to announce this. Yeah, yeah, Tyler, you can edit this into the next episode. I'm so sorry to announce this. Um, we here at Rewatch Party are saddened by the news that our wonderful co-host, Zach Horowitz, has died in a plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> he was or actually it wasn't a plane crash he was trying much in the spirit of this show to jump out of a plane of a cargo plane like carly does and i go to tokyo the classic episode from the tv show right that happened <laughs> okay yeah. can i throw my hat in the ring as no, well no zach you're dead because it's because it's my death <laughs> i'd like to choose how i die nobody zach nobody gets to zach. choose how they die I already just told you how you die. What if I go, I want to go in a blaze of glory, like that one hitchhiker bot that they were trying to like send across the United States, but instead it got beaten to death in Philadelphia. <laughs> that was me. I tried to hitchhike my way across the country and got beaten to death in Philadelphia. Anyway, guys, Carly is packing for her girls trip. Freddie is upset that he doesn't get to go because Freddie loves girls trips. Totally fitting with his character. I mean, he brings up good arguments. Yeah. 
There's rosé, there's indoor activities, and there's they're organized. I mean, that's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Freddy just wants to be one of the girls. He wants to be yeah. one of the, gir- the girls' girls' night. Mm-hmm. Girls' night. Also important, guys, Carly has never had a girls' trip because she used to live in Italy, and they don't do girls' trips in Italy because they're already in Italy. <laughs> I like that. That was that's good. fair. Yeah, it was that it was, was a good. good detail. I liked this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this it was, was a, a fun, fun episode. Yes. If it wasn't clear from everything up top, this is also a very sexual episode. I just yes. want to say <laughs> that's why we began with this. Yeah. It's only going to go up from here. Everyone's trying to sex yeah, each other. You might up. have thought, dear listener, how how can we top Zach begging for sex from anybody and also twenty dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, we will. <laughs> <laughs> so who is going on this trip we have carly we have harper and we have brooke uh brooke is harper's roommate from college yeah. played by esther patimsky who is Pavitsky. a producer on this show right yeah little esther it's very funny it's just it was just funny because they mentioned brooke and to give you all a peek behind the scenes of this podcast we haven't recorded in a while which means we haven't watched the show in a while So we all had this moment of, was there a character named Brooke that we fully forgot? (laughs) It was very good for me to hear, no, it's Harper's roommate from college, because I thought they were gaslighting me for a second. Yeah, I I thought maybe, like, is that a character from the original show? Was that, like, Freddy's ex-wife? It seems a little crazy to bring her back almost immediately, but maybe I forgot her name. Yeah, it's just it was just funny the show being like you guys remember Brooke right and I'm like yeah I sure do remember Brooke <laughs> oh all, that Brooke all her Brookiness you know, always <laughs> begging for sex <laughs> Gosh. Zach Zach you're confused that's you <laughs> you know I'm sensing a theme Brooke with doesn't myself have today to beg for sex <laughs> you see I don't have to beg it's just I do it anyways <laughs> you do it. You do it for the art of it, for the sport. Yeah, I do it anyways because I enjoy doing it. Anyway, Carly... I don't enjoy doing it. I don't. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Zach, go outside and touch some grass. I need to. <laughs> Carly got their room upgraded. She got an upgraded suite because she's agreed to live stream from the hotel for iCarly. Guys, iCarly is relevant to this plot, kind of, not really. <laughs> Remember in the original show when it was always like, but our iCarly broadcast. I know, right? Every, this is a, uh, this seems oddly divorced from the it's, show. It's very funny because it's like they're having all their adventures and it's like, oh, and also we do like a web show or something. Yeah, that's, that's mm-hmm. Carly's only source of income. She, that's why she has so much time on her hands. She's so successful. She posts out one episode of her show a week and, and she, and she can do all this random shit. They were doing, they were doing some sort of show. I think it was called like the Carly show or something. I Sam. That's right. It was I Sam. Yeah. It was I yeah. Sam. I Sam, mm-hmm. you Jane. Um <laughs> But anyway, we also find out a very important fact. I don't know, guys, if you can anticipate what I'm going to say, but Spencer has been making Mm -hmm. mini birdhouses. Yes. This is maybe the most important thing of the episode. Very important. Yeah. It offers such a glimpse into Spencer's psyche. (laughs) One, birdhouses that are too small for birds. Yeah. Which... Is very in keeping with Spencer. It's sort of an encapsulation of him. He is an artist. He likes to make things. Do yeah. they have any point? Do they make no. any sense? No, not at all. <laughs> His art, and it's fine. It's art. Like, I don't care. But it's very funny because it's always like, I made a sculpture. It's a bunch of yo-yos, except the yo-yos are, are fake tongues I got from a novelty <laughs> sh- store. And it's like, why did you do this? And he's like, I don't know. I saw the tongues. <laughs> I mean, it's all, you know, and it's also the uh, the mini birdhouses and the struggles and the true artistic meaning of it gives him his next big idea, which is, of course, birdhouses, but for people. Say that slowly, Spencer. <laughs> birdhouses, but for people. I have a question for you guys. 
I know we make fun of it because a birdhouse for a person is a person house, or a house. as I like to call them, a house. <laughs> or a house for a very large bird. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's um, true. But I have a question. Like an ostrich could live in it. Yeah. 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 yeah of course. An ostrich house. Maybe Spencer's very right. Ostriches have been treated poorly for too long. They deserve their own <laughs> houses. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the guys like ostriches, emus, and uh, Big Bird from Sesame Why Street. are we making yes. fun of this idea to house Big Bird, a <laughs> cultural icon? A childhood icon. Beloved by children everywhere. Big Bird deserves a home. And you know what? Big Bird can't go to just a normal human house. He's way too tall. He's yeah. going to, like, hit the doors and everything. He needs it's a birdhouse. Like, even, if, even if he doesn't, it's like he's not comfortable there yeah even if it's the nicest home every day big bird's gonna wake up and go this is a house for a human being and not a bird <laughs> yeah i mean you know big bird he's had a rough life you know he was always he was almost on the challenger disaster <laughs> the, the <laughs> trauma true. is that's still true that's true he was it's, it's true look it up yeah. oh, and then the, the survivor's guilt from that yeah uh, yeah, it really tears him apart. Means he needs an actual house. He's had a rough life. Would you guys want to live in a human-sized birdhouse? Because it is going to be different. Like, it is a house, but it's a house with yeah. one circular door I'd be and like one room. I'd like the cool guy living in the big birdhouse, and then everyone would want to have sex with me. <laughs> Zach, I, I say this for your own good. I think you need to move off of that. I think I need I th to stop. I think, I think you need to get some other interests. There's a difference Learn between to be alone. reincorporation. <laughs> and, and fixation. And fixation. Yeah, I'm it's making me genuinely worried for you. Anyway, you know who I'm not worried for? Another new character, Harper's cousin Maeve. That's right. She's right. back from the dead. She resurfaced. <laughs> she resurfaced she from being kidnapped and lost at sea for several years. She disappeared four years ago, but she's here now. She got kidnapped by pirates. Yep. That's so cool. They let her go, and she's ecstatic. She's here to visit Harper, her favorite person. She's never going on a trip again. Harper immediately invites her on the girls' trip. <laughs> and it's like, hey, Harper, maybe listen. Maybe it's next like, time. It, she literally is like, and now I'm never going on another trip anywhere, anywhere again. And then Harper immediately is like, hey, why don't you come on our girls' trip? And it's like, Harper... What did she just say? You need to think about other people, Harper. You need to think about I, other people. I know you pride yourself on being engaging and everything, but you know what the most engaging thing is? Listening. <laughs> yes, both of those things. Consent Zach, and listening. you say listening. these things and then you like pause and for a second I think maybe you're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just sitting there rethinking a lot of my life choices. <laughs> Right, your your entire life is passing before your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So Harper needs to stay with Maeve, of course. And then Carly finds out that Brooke's car got stolen. So it looks like she's going alone, unless yeah. there was a convenient best friend in the room who also really likes girls' trips. Yeah. Unless there was some sort of man who wanted to go on a girls' trip. Oh, Spencer. Spencer is excited to go on the girls' trip. But <laughs> <laughs> he would be but then yeah. he meets Maeve yeah am I thinking of a different scene because there's a later scene where he's really excited for girls brunch I think I'm thinking of we were saying girls trip with Freddie then we said girls trip with Spencer and Freddie or guys trip with Carly <laughs> yes I think the girls brunch thing is at the end of the episode yeah the girls brunch thing is at Not the end of the episode of ourselves. I think we w I was confusing what we wanted to happen oh, with that later yeah. scene yeah, yeah. But yes, Carly and Freddy go on the girls' trip. Mm -hmm. They arrive at the hotel, and they've gotten the lovers' suite. Ooh. Ooh. It was supposed to be the party suite. Yeah. But no. It's the party of two suite, an experience for lovers. Which begs the question, what would have happened if three girls had shown up? <laughs> Um, I don't judge. Maybe they're I, no, I don't judge. It's just like the party of two and there's three of them. Mm. It's not that thing, Mark. I'm, I'm, I'm progressive. I'm hip. <laughs> I'm progressive. I'm hip. I'd only sleep with a man for $20. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you so know what? Now that I say it out loud, it's a very low number. We've discussed so. this. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, you're, I think what they would have done is... Uh, I think someone would have slept on the couch. I think someone would have slept on the couch, yeah. Poss- mm. Possibly. I think two people would have shared the bed and someone would sleep on the couch. Nice. That's my answer. I'm sorry if it's not funny. I'm sorry if it's not a funny answer for you, Zach. Everything must be funny from now on. I'm sorry if I'm not, if I'm disappointing you, but you know what? I have my own dreams. Yeah. You don't get to what tell me. What dreams, Mark? I had a dream where I was like in school, but like with my <laughs> camp friends. <laughs> Did you ever get that? And it's like not weird it's like not and weird also, at first and then all of a sudden you're like you're not supposed to be here and then you turn around and you're like outside and it's like class doesn't happen outside my dream is that i was living in i was going to the dmv but i was like this didn't happen in the dream but i was consciously aware of the fact that in the dream that if i didn't get my license renewed the gecko police would come and kill me because of course i was living in a world run by a totalitarian dictatorship led entirely by geckos you know like the geico gecko they were just well- wearing military uniforms mm. i didn't see any geckos in my dream i just well you know what harrison there. you know what i, I had you know a what? dream too Can I, I had dreams. a dream too i, I had a dream <laughs> that i was playing basketball and I wasn't very good at basketball because you see, I have, I had a crab claw and like squid tentacles instead of legs <laughs> and all the other kids on the playground were laughing at me. And then all of a sudden Air Bud came in and he was like, Zach, I'm going to teach you how to play basketball. And I was like, Air Bud is going to teach me how to play basketball. And then I came back at the end uh, and I like destroyed everybody in basketball with my crab claw. And everyone was like, wow, Zach, you're so good at basketball. Even without, even with your crab claw and squid legs, we were wrong to have judged you. Zach, I think we need to make that into a hit family movie. (laughs) It's Air Bud, but except, except it's not a dog. It's a guy with a crab claw and a. No, but Air Bud is the, the, the mentor. I, I understand. I'm saying rather than a movie about a dog who plays basketball, the crux it's of the movie about an abomination is, is an abomination <laughs> plays basketball. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, Freddie and Carly got the lover's suite and they're about to call to get things changed when Carly discovers that there is a drawer that's just filled with chocolate. Yeah, because, Mm. of course, it's an aphrodisiac, (laughs) which explains a lot of their behavior in this episode. I also know that chocolate's not an aphrodisiac. That's just what people say. But it explains a lot of the behavior in this episode. Everybody is very horny in this episode, which is why I did the bit. Right, it was all a ruse. I, it was all a ruse. I'm not actually. I won't actually have sex with somebody for twenty dollars. I fooled you all. It was a bit. <laughs> Me thinks he doth protest too much, but whatever. I'm not gonna get into it. Yeah, you're right. It's Zach, forty dollars. It's forty dollars. <laughs> and that's the end of that. That's good. Yes, that's we're really done. Good. Anyway, even if there's a good opportunity to bring it up, we're not coming back to it. <laughs> we're not coming back. <laughs> so. Um, Millicent shows <laughs> up at Harper's apartment. apartment. Yeah. She's surprised Harper is still there. She had a girl's trip after all. Millicent doesn't do much, but we do find out that Freddie got her fish donut on sale because it doesn't swim very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I'm, I'm trying to picture like the mom, uh, the, like the mother of three who comes to buy her kids a fish and and she's like this one doesn't swim very fast i'm not paying over 20 dollars for it <laughs> i imagine it's more like huh that's pretty steep for a fish and the guy's like well i have this other fish that i can sell you at a discounted price <laughs> what's wrong with it it doesn't swim very fast and it's like what it's a fish <laughs> It's going to be in a tank, like in my home. I don't think it needs to swim very fast. Yeah. You'd be surprised at how many people buy fish fish here just to race them. <laughs> Do you think that's what fish. happens? Do you think there's like an under- underground goldfish racing ring? That's what Michael Vick got into after he le- after he got out of jail. <laughs> and it's it's very hard to train the goldfish to race because they don't remember anything. Yeah. Right, right. You yeah, can't you gotta- train them. You gotta really dig it into their muscle memory. That's why you. Remember. Oh, that's why you need a fish that's just naturally fast. Yes. 
Yeah. That's why he was on. That's why Donut was on sale. Also, awesome. Millicent just has a key to Carly and Harper's apartment. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Of course, I feel like that's another thing that we just neglected to mention. Well, also Harper takes away the key, and then Millicent says, "I still have three other points of entry." <laughs> she scoped the apartment out. She knows how to get that. See, I, I said this when we were watching the episode, but I think Millicent's character got so much better when she went from annoying child to criminal child it's yeah. so good millicent is great i love millicent she's the new sam of the show that's right <laughs> you need of. a criminal she's a bit more of a like white collar criminal i will say yeah 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 sam would definitely like beat up the bikers in the bar Mil- millicent would like pull the strings from behind the scenes yeah, see, <laughs> like millicent would make a key to get into the apartment sam would just break the door down yeah exactly yeah. i was gonna say yeah. millicent has three points of entry Sam would knock the door down. <laughs> Sam only needs one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you fool. Uh. I only need one point of entry. <laughs> Thump. <laughs> Burst yes. through the door like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Spencer walks in and has a little meet cute with Maeve. That's right. This is a new romance. We maybe didn't mention it. But when he's like, I've been making all these mini birdhouses, Freddie says, you need a girlfriend. So it was setting up this. Yeah. Yeah. She falls into his arms. They talk in hushed tones. It's it's kind of great. They're immediately in love. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. And I love how Maeve's only character trait in this episode is that uh, being at sea kidnapped by pirates has just completely rewired her brain to only function at sea. Like she keeps a, a spray <laughs> bottle of Adriatic seawater to spray at herself because it calms her down. It's, so it's good. great. It's so good. <laughs> but Spencer offers to entertain Maeve so Harper can go on the trip. Also important, Maeve loves the birdhouses. <laughs> yes. yes. It's great. Yes, they really are meant Finally, to Finally, someone appreciates Spencer's genius, his artistic genius. Mm-hmm. It is meant to be. But we go back to Carly and Freddie. They're in robes. They're having a great time. Um, Freddie gives her a shirt that says, My Way or the Rosé. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if anyone wants to send me that shirt, I'll wear it. I'll wear that shirt. I will get that for you, Mark. Mark has gotten me several gag t-shirts, and I feel like this is my chance. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. I had another idea for a gag shirt, or not I, a shirt, my, but a gag gift for you. My favorite one is still the one that you got me, where it's like, yeah, I'm a gamer, or something like that, and it said, like, since, yeah. and it was, like, since, like, a year. I'm not going to say the year, but it was not the year that I was born. Which, by the <laughs> way, like, you didn't get to choose the year. I didn't, like, get it wrong. It was just the wrong year. <laughs> I, I, that's amazing i mean yeah i wasn't like when when was zach born and put it in it's, it's like just, one of those I, literally that was the only on design Facebook they had where it's like i'm married to a big army man who was born in december and loves his wife <laughs> i was born in december i love my wife i'm an american yeah i have a gun <laughs> <laughs> deal with it you know those shirts the worst yeah. shirts in the world don't get me that get me a shirt that says my way or the rose just that okay i'll okay, make a Mark, note of i'll that make sure to make, send get the shirt address. Says, i'll make sure to get the shirt that says you were born in october have a gun love your wife and yeah that's the problem is that we had to change American. the month yeah. deal with it yeah yeah is i'm saying don't get it to, for me because it's just it's inaccurate yeah, I mean, you weren't even born in October. I no, just said no, the no, next no, no, month. No, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you had a one that like the month was correct that says like I don't have a wife, I don't have a gun, like yeah. th- th- be fine because that's, that's accurate. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, they start messing around with some of the features of their room and they start playing a sexy song accidentally. The song, the song. I assume the title is "I Want to Have s s s Sex." <laughs> Hence our joke in the intro. Yeah. I won't have sex. It's really good. I really yeah, like Yeah, it's song. so good. The sexual tension is building. Yep. They, they, they had a complicated romantic history in the past, but now <laughs> they're just trying to avoid it. Yeah, but they are doing a, they're doing a pretty good job avoiding it because Freddie gives Carly the bed and agrees to sleep on the couch. Yeah, of course. And Carly's Carly thanks him and then jumps on the bed and goes, Oh, this is so comfortable. You have to try it. Yeah. 
And so he gets in the bed and they're both going like, oh, this is so good. Oh, that feels nice. And who should walk in? But Brooke. Yay. Brooke, remember Brooke? She, Everyone, our favorite, our favorite Brooke. Our favorite character from iCarly. She didn't actually get her car now stolen. Now I'm trying to gaslight you. I mean, she was always in the show. Oh, yeah, of she, yeah, she's she's here. Turns out she didn't get her car stolen. She just forgot where she parked it, so she assumed it was stolen. Yeah. She's a hot mess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's that's her character and what they call her a number of times. Brooke yeah, is a hot, hot mess. mess. Brooke, because she's yep. a hot mess. Yeah. Um, I also want to say they're like, or Carly and Freddie are like, we weren't doing anything. Let's turn off this music, and they accidentally drop a bunch of confetti onto the bed. <laughs> Which I it was like rose petals or something. Yeah, rose, rose petals. petals. I don't yeah. know. I think they are rose petals, but I they do like are the idea that like you have sex in the bed yeah. and there's a button that drops confetti. Yeah, that's what I liked about it. I like <laughs> yeah. I liked the idea I that it like was the, confetti. I, you know what? That's a good idea. I should have been confetti. Yeah. That would be much funnier. So then you can like presumably like high five your sexual partner after you're done. <laughs> yes. like, you yeah. high five and like, it drops confetti. Hell yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah, it's a clapper system. It's a clapper yes. system. So yes. once it hears the high five. Yeah, I do want to say it's just that there are, I think, white and red rose petals. So the fact that they were multicolored, my brain went confetti. Oh, okay, that's why. Right. I'm not like a, an idiot, but yeah, no, I confetti wanted it to funny, be confetti. Though. I do like that idea a lot better. <laughs> I think that would be great. It is the sexiest of the decorations. Yes, of course. It goes confetti, streamers, doilies. Mm. I think mm. balloons are up there too. Yeah, I'd, I'd rank balloons like number four. That's fair. I mean, that's debatable. I mean, mm. you know, balloons in 1997 had a great run in the sex market. Oh, <laughs> balloons in 1997? I'm sorry, Harrison. It's 2022. <laughs> but, but Mark, what if we, I, you know, what if we've had like a, what about like banners, like a giant banner on top of the bed that just says like, we're going to have sex. That's pretty sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Confetti, banners that say we're going to have sex, streamers, <laughs> banners doilies, that do not balloons. say we're going to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Regular banners are pretty sexy. Yeah. Right. But it's like, it's all about if it's that specific set of words. <laughs> yeah. Also. <laughs> Brooke is immediately very into Freddy. Yeah. Yeah. There's a joke that I like where she says like, ooh, and you brought a cute guy on this trip. And Freddy goes, and now we have a cute girl. And Carly goes, um, thanks. <laughs> excuse me? Yeah, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> um, we go back to Spencer and Maeve, who had an Alaskan crab leg buffet. That Spencer just mm -hmm. had ready. Yeah, he had ready. Harper's like, I got Chinese food. Since when do you like crab? And she's like, um, since I was trapped at sea for four years. And by the way, the pirates were very gluten free. So like, I don't do Chinese food anymore. I love this idea that like pirates are like calling up the restaurant to see to make sure that it's gluten free, like that it doesn't contaminate or whatever. Be there any gluten. Or give me all your gluten so we can throw it away. We, we wouldn't be putting up a stink, but one of our crew members has celiac. Sorry, guys, that... <laughs> The, the captain has celiac disease. The captain has celiac disease. Sorry, guys. That restaurant's out. Want to check Grubhub again? <laughs> You'd rather use Grubhub DoorDash? All right. I mean, we probably should be, uh, you know, we probably should be supporting these restaurants directly. But... <laughs> You know, if they're going to have gluten, you know how the cap'n is. <laughs> you know, sometimes, like, he says he has celiac disease. Sometimes I think he just makes that up because he's embarrassed that he doesn't want to eat gluten. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I don't want to doubt him. Like, that would be terrible. He's our captain. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, doubt people who say I have celiac disease, but... <laughs> But also, like, there are a lot of people who are like, I don't have celiac disease. I just, I just don't do gluten. And it's <laughs> like, you know, that's fine. Just, just own it. You know, that's, that's my thing. 
I, I have seen the captain eating one too many quote unquote accidental donuts. <laughs> like, oh no, I forgot. I'm like, I have celiac. Like oh, we no, have me celiac. Like our cheat day is Sunday, and I think if he actually had celiac disease, we wouldn't have a cheat day. You know. <laughs> I mean, our cheat day is Sunday, but that's only because the first mate is Jewish, and we have to celebrate the Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday? On Sunday? <laughs> the pirate Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's just the pirate Sabbath. <laughs> so there's a separate pirate god who rested. Yeah. There's a separate s- sect of Judaism, the pirate Jews. <laughs> and he rested on Sunday. Yeah. So. <laughs> He was like, <laughs> Saturday was for pillaging <laughs> yes. and treasure hunting. And Sunday, so is Sunday for was when we re- was when All God right, rested. Sunday is for resting. Hey, because a pirate's life ain't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, as, as Tyler says, Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and pirate. Oh my God. Oh, I like, I kind of don't want to do the rest of the episode. I just want to talk about this forever, but I think we have to move on. <laughs> now you understand how I feel with most of my bits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Um, Spencer takes Maeve on a replica of the Titanic. He's like, I have a surprise for you. And they do the I'm flying Jack scene. Yeah. He also then well, takes oh, out a pad well, and starts also- to draw her. If I, if I may, because so there, there's an important detail that I think you missed, mm-hmm. uh, because Harper brings Chinese food, which, you know, Maeve can't eat because the gluten thing. Yeah. But she's also like, I brought some action movies because those are your favorite. I got Taken, one, two, and three. You know, on second <laughs> thought, Taken might not be the best idea. <laughs> this is good. She's had too much action and adventure. She doesn't want She wants that. romance, like Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> A movie about being at sea. That's true. Where everyone dies. <laughs> yeah. It's, Wait, hold on a moment. Yeah, like Har- they're doing the thing, and Harper's at the bottom. And she's like, "You guys know how that movie ends, right?" <laughs> Maeve and Spencer are both so weird. They deserve each other. It's they really do they deserve each other. <laughs> anyway, um, a couple masseurs, masseuses, come <laughs> to give a couple's massage at the lovers' suite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carly says, like, oh, well, you know, there are three of us, so maybe we should just, you know, sit this out. And, like, Freddie's like, okay, great. You're going to you're gonna sit this out? Brooke and I will get massages. <laughs> um, and so Carly sits on the bed, eats chocolate, and is like, hey, do we want to go to that carnival? And they go, yes. And she's like, are you saying yes to the massage or the carnival? And they go, yes. <laughs> And then it turns out Carly uh, ate all the chocolates. Yeah, it's a yeah. very good moment where she like looks down and sees that there's like chocolate wrappers all over the bed. And she's like, oh my God, did I just eat all of these? It's, <laughs> it's a, a moment very that happens to me moment. far too often, far more yeah. often than I'd like to admit. I mean, we, we all know that moment where we're just like watching a show and we're like, oh, wow, that this entire box of candy is gone. Mm-hmm. I am truly sad. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Um, we get another little Millicent scene that doesn't really affect anything where she breaks into Harper's part apartment again um, and says she has to like she's going to go protest something with friends. I forget exactly what it was. She and mentions Harper, that Olive is going to be there. Our good yeah, friend Olive. <laughs> yeah. And Harper's like, oh, so I'm going to be third wheeling again. And Millicent has a very good line where she says, oh, you're not going to be a third wheel. You were never invited. <laughs> so good <laughs> Millicent is an agent of chaos and I that's love it I mean that's when she became a good character yes mm-hmm. that's that's something that I'm realizing now is she's just becoming the same of this show yes and like I will say like in terms of criminal because I think a big part of Sam's character was the violence mm-hmm. and I don't see Millicent as violent but she is a criminal she's like the white collar yeah. yes Anyway, Freddie won a unicorn for Brooke at the carnival. Oh, um, boy. Ooh. Yeah, and Carly's, and so Freddie and Brooke are, like, all over each other, and Carly's like, mm-hmm. hey, do you want to do something else? I wanted to check out the tiki bar downstairs. And Freddie's like, great, you should go do that. <laughs> we are going to stay up here. <laughs> <laughs> 
and do the set thing, presumably. <laughs> we found the confetti button. <laughs> yeah, there's the rose petal button and there's also the confetti button. Yeah. And we're very excited. <laughs> if you push both at the same time, you don't even want to know what happens. Carly goes to the tiki bar alone uh, and streams from there. And she's acting like she's not alone. She's like, I'm here with my friends. Haha, <laughs> what guys you want me to get on the table now? Well, by everyone. I wonder if there's like people on the internet who see these weird vlogs occasionally posted by Carly during her misadventures and go, what the hell is going on behind the scenes of iCarly? Yeah, what is your life? <laughs> you went to a robot wedding? I mean, to be fair, influencers get into a lot of weird shit. You've seen Creator Clash? Yeah. That's true. Carly should definitely go back to Creator Which, Clash. Like, I first of all, because I when Creator Clash happened, I was like, I cannot believe that iCarly con- predicted influencer boxing. Yes. iCarly yeah. did it first. She did it first. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and the guy at the bar says to Carly, uh, another lonely lady. And she's like, I'm not lonely. And goes on a bit about her problems. And he's like, no, that's the name of the drink. I was asking if you wanted another drink, but you seem sad. (laughs) You're cut off, Carly. You're too sad. You're not allowed to be sad on vacation. (laughs) But Harper and Carly FaceTime. Uh, Harper tells her that she has to go and, and stick up for herself on this trip. It's her trip as well. Come on. And Harper's like, maybe I will. Um, and we were taking bets, I think. Uh, Zach thought Carly was going to go up, and Freddie and Brooke were not having sex. They're, like, playing Dungeons & Dragons. Yes. I said I thought they were going to be playing Monopoly. Turns out they're playing M.A.S.H. Well, after you smash, you gotta mash. Everybody knows that proverb. <laughs> but Fuck, I think this good. was a pre-smash mash. <laughs> yeah, okay, before you smash, you gotta mash, right? Before you, you gotta smash, you gotta mash. Letter. But I do enjoy and then, a post-smash And then afterwards, you gotta make sure you take out the trash. We gotta take out the trash, and we gotta hash it out, whether you do a pre-smash <laughs> mash or a post-smash mash. Right, because there are t- there are occasions when a post-smash mash is okay. Yeah. You gotta, but you gotta work it out ahead make of Make sure that like when you leave and like you drive away, make sure you don't crash. I, you're not going to crash. Generally, I think a post-smash mash is trash. Yeah, I mean, typically, you know, after I smash and play some mash, I'm gone in a flash. <laughs> <laughs> But to borrow the slang term that they invented for the future of Batman Beyond, um, a a post smash mash is trash, but a pre smash mash is crash. Remember in Batman Beyond, they say crash when they mean cool. Yeah, <laughs> I I talk like that all the time. I'm not doing that for the for a bit. We got any other ones? I, I think we, I'm. We I, think I, think, I think I've run out of ones. Yeah. I liked but that. I'm glad I that I inspired that. that. Anyway, let's yeah. keep going. <laughs> so they were playing MASH, and Carly uh, tries to join, and yeah. Freddy's like, yo, dude, why are you, why are you cock-blocking? Yeah, or, and- but we should say there's a phrasing when Carly tries to join that's very important, which is she says, oh, you're playing MASH? Do me, too. <laughs> and Brooke mm. is like, maybe I will. Let me <laughs> leave for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Brooke is up to. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love where this goes so much. It's so funny. Yeah, Freddy's like, dude, you're getting in the way. And he and talks she's like, like that. Yeah, of course. Mm. In five, four, three. That's what Freddy two. sounds like. That's a very good Freddy impression. Whoa, Nathan Cress, are you here right now? <laughs> That's right. It's me, Nathan oh my Cress. God. <laughs> With the voice of an anime character in 2005. <laughs> I played Freddy on iCarly, and also that. One uh, friend of Zack and Cody's who was in a wheelchair. Oh, God. Remember that I episode? I remember that episode, yeah. That was Nathan Cress. <laughs> I do not remember that. They, they had a friend who was, like, newly in a wheelchair, and they act, like, weird around him. Mm. Yeah. And then, like, he find he, like... And then he rehabilitated himself and became a producer on a very successful web show yeah. in Seattle. Yeah, for first... Him. First, you get your confidence back by playing wheelchair basketball, and then you become a YouTuber. Oh, it's the wheelchair basketball episode. Yeah, it's the wheelchair basketball episode. So you should have just said that. I was about to get there, but then you made a joke about him rehabilitating himself, which is not a phrase I like in regard to the the (laughs) discipline. 
the disabled that's not community. What I, meant. <laughs> I know yeah. that's not what you meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so um, yeah. So Freddie is like, "What are you doing?" And then Brooke comes back, and she's like. Uh, her I, there's some sort of lead in. She's like, well, I, I see what's going no, no, on. Yeah, here. I, I don't. Yeah, no. Charlie yeah, says, no. "Hey, but like you ditched me," and he's like, "Yeah, I'm sorry, I did that. That wasn't cool. I've just been really lonely. I really wanted to find the right person." And then she's like, "That's fair. Do you like her?" And he's like, "Yeah," and she's fun to make out with. And then Carly says, "Well, I just wish I had someone to make out right. with too." And then Brooke says. Hello. Yeah, Brooke is like, I can help with that. <laughs> I can help, I can help with, with that. that. <laughs> and so, yeah, Brooke comes out yeah. ready for a threesome. Yep. That's what she assumes this has been leading to. Yeah, she's yeah. like, I know what's been going on. I've seen the obvious sexual tension between me and Carly. <laughs> you guys want to have a threesome and I'm game. Uh, <laughs> And I love, of course, the the dichotomy of reactions. Charlie is like, um, no, thank you. And then and Freddie says, hold on, let's hear her out. <laughs> hold on, her, we need let's hear her out. Yeah. She has maybe she's got a good idea. I believe the exact <laughs> phrase is, let's hear the woman out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but they explained to her the situation that they weren't they didn't want to have a threesome. Mm-hmm. And Brooke says, why does this keep happening to me? She just First seems- the funeral, <laughs> then the DMV. Yeah, I love that. Like, not only has this happened to her multiple times, but that this is like the most normal setting it yeah. has occurred in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the what most happened at that setting. funeral? What happened at the DMV? <laughs> <laughs> Were they going to have the threesome in the DMV? <laughs> I mean, that would be the best trip to the DMV imaginable. I mean, I mean, um, <laughs> I get that there's a long wait time, but there are better ways to pass the time. Are there? <laughs> I once sat at the DMV for seven hours. <laughs> there were no good ways to pass the time. Okay, yeah, and that's a good way to spend 30 seconds of it. <laughs> that's very, that's, that's very uncharitable to Harrison. Uh, that was, I mean, I wasn't talking about Harrison. I was referring to, like, if it's, like, whoever. I mean, I'm assuming it would be, like, Freddy or somebody similar. So, so I think that's uncharitable to Freddy. 30 yeah. seconds. I mean. Two minutes. <laughs> it's probably that's his first I'm not reason. going so any you know higher. What? Maybe, maybe, the, maybe that's a fair estimate. Uh, Two minutes. <laughs> I'm not going any higher. But Brooke leaves. She goes, do you guys know where my car is? And they go, no. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, oh, that's okay. I'll just keep walking around until I hear the noise, which I was really hoping would turn into a joke that her car actually got stolen. (laughs) (laughs) That would have been great. Would have been fun. I hope Brooke comes back. She's fun. (laughs) She's she's fun. She's 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 fine. She's a she's a hot mess. The hot mess. We all know That's, one. Yeah. I think they should. They should resolve the free. They should all have a threesome. Why not? Is that like? Is that like our favorite? Like yeah, I know how not? with with male characters we like a himbo and we love a dummy. For is that like the equivalent for female characters? Is like instead of a himbo, we just love a hot mess. Kind of. I think so. I guess yeah. So. I mean, yeah. I think kind of the dichotomy with hot mess is usually like the simp, but like I feel like himbo is the equivalent. Yeah, yeah uh, that's what I'm saying, is that it's, like, the equivalent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you seen that thing of, like, the opposite of himbo is not a bimbo? There should be a th- they sh- there should be another one, a herbo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just there, yeah. I saw like one where the it was, beefy... like, an axis, and there was, like, four yeah. different yeah, types. Yeah, 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 it's himbo, himbim, bimbo, yes. and herbo. Yes. I don't know where Brooke falls on the chart, but uh, I, somewhere I'm not, on I'm it. not familiar with the chart. I'm not familiar enough to give you a reading, but... I mean, I think somewhere between... To, between uh, bimbo, bimbo and herbo, and herbo. probably yeah. somewhere in the hot mess zone. Some part yeah. of that chart must be the hot oh, mess. Oh, for zone. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's a moment that I also kind of liked where Brooke leaves, and then Carly and Freddie are like, "Wow, can you believe she thought we wanted to have sex with each other?" And they're like, "Yeah, crazy." And they like look at each other with a lot of tension <laughs> for a few seconds, and Freddie goes, "I'm gonna get my own room." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which brings us to, I believe, the last scene of the episode. Yep. Where they uh, um, go out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maeve has gotten Chinese food for Harper to mm-hmm. apologize for not spending time with her. 
Mm-hmm. Because Sundays are cheat days for gluten. Sundays are yes. cheat days. So, I didn't, you know, we didn't for make the that up. Sabbath. That's in the episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, the cheat days in the episode, the Pirate Sabbath is not, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> pirate Sabbath. <laughs> that, that's straight from my mind. Yeah. My no, that, 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 that's straight from the scripture. We're learning today. <laughs> straight from, straight from I believe the that's in Deuteronomy, correct? <laughs> <laughs> straight from the unhinged mind of Zach. Yes. Zach, you wrote Deuteronomy <laughs> <laughs> thousands yes. of years ago. I made that. I made yes. I wrote the. I wrote the book, and they Zach, were like, "Wow, this God? is so good. We're gonna add this to the Bible." <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, Maeve tells her, like, look, I came here to visit you. You're my favorite person, and I'm sorry I haven't been here for you. And they have Chinese food. Spencer comes in excited for a girl's brunch. And Harper says something about, like, can't we have one thing without you men? And Spencer and I really liked this because Spencer goes, Freddy's? You said Freddy could come. And Carly goes, Freddy earned it. Yeah, Freddie earned his spot he by going on the spot. girls' trip. He he was a real mensch this trip. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie says, "King of the girls' trip." <laughs> I love that. Um, and also, big bombshell. Uh, Maeve is moving in with Spencer. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they do a thing where she says, "I'm gonna be moving to Seattle permanently," and Harper's mm-hmm. and Harper's like, "Oh, you can stay with me and Carly," and she goes. Actually, <laughs> or I think Spencer goes, actually, she's staying with me until she finds her own yep. place. Maybe, probably. Sort but of. guys, I think that's it for the episode. And I think, I think that- we're missing one important point, which is that Carly mentions that Brooke hijacked, like to- totally ruined the trip. And then Harper oh, yeah, says, yeah, yeah. did she try to have a threesome? Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> or no, 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 no. She says, did she try to have a threesome? And Carly's like, yeah. And Harper says, you should have done it. I've heard she's good. <laughs> Which begs the question, was Harper at the funeral or the DMV? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? They went to college together. They probably have a lot of mutual acquaintances. I'm going to say funeral. Surely one of them has died. <laughs> Surely we all know someone who's died. Surely. <laughs> Gosh. When I said it's a problem, I meant more that Brooke has a tendency to bring up threesomes when she should not, like at the DMV or. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah. No, I know that she has a tendency yeah. to bring up threesomes when she should not. But yeah. Harper seems to indicate that she does, in fact, have many threesomes. Yes. Mm. And that she's quite good at that. <laughs> she's quite good. You should have done yeah. it. It's great. Yeah. But that brings us to the end of the episode. Guys, sad boy. I... I have like one nominee that's pretty strong in my mind. Uh, I've got a couple yeah. in mind. I've got one that's. I'm gonna. I. Th- I mean, I think that we gotta nominate Carly. Yeah, Carly yes. was my nominee. Yeah. Carly, who gets third wheeled on her trip, eats a ton of chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> I was also gonna say Harper as well, just because there is a point in the episode where Carly and Harper are trying to outsad each other. That's yes. true. They're trying to outsad each other. I guess for me, it's just they. Uh, they spend a lot more time with Carly. We see her like True. I like her streaming from the bar and pretending she has if, friends. If I may oh make a God. case for Harper real quick, a lonely lady. Because if I may make <laughs> yeah. a case for Harper real quick, just to say it, yeah. Uh, her cousin, who she thought was dead, was lost <laughs> at sea for four years, kidnapped by pirates, has resurfaced, and all she wants to do is spend time with Harper, which takes her away from the girls' trip first of all. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. after she's there. She leaves her for Spencer. <laughs> That's a good point. That's, That's pretty a good, good point. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then there's another thing where Carly is like drinking a thing and Harper's like, oh, we'll have a virtual girls night and I'll do a drink as well. And, Car- and she's like, what's in the drink? And Carly says a bunch of stuff and she's like, hmm, well, we have vodka and white wine. So I guess it's close enough and <laughs> drinks vodka and white wine mixed yeah. together. Yeah, I did. That did cross my mind. I think those are two very good points. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I think we should vote. I think I think should. after saying the case, I think I've convinced myself to vote for Harper on this one. I think Harper is a very I respect that yeah. nominee, but I think it's got to be Carly. Honestly, I don't know, that's fair. Like, yeah. Like the the sexual frustration, the loneliness, 
the continued sexual frustration, <laughs> just yep. everything about this trip going wrong. It's so great. I think I think I'm with Harrison. I think I got to go for Carly. Honestly, that's just, fair. I'm fine yeah, with I, that. I, I, I 100, you are 100 percent correct in voting for Harper. I just felt Carly more. She doesn't realize she's eaten a whole drawer of chocolate. <laughs> She True. she wears a shirt that says my way or the rosé yeah. because Which she got Freddy chocolate on all the rest of her clothes. Which Freddie got for her, by the way. Yeah, yes. we, we, we mentioned that. Yeah. Freddie got I her. Mean, it's it's yeah. worth mentioning again. Yep. She pretends to have friends when she's alone at the bar. She doesn't realize she's drinking a drink called the Lonely Lady. <laughs> I just I, I really liked Carly in this episode. I got to vote for Carly. That's fair. Yeah. All right. So Carly gets the so Carly officially wins the sad off between her and Harper. Yes, yes. In our minds, she wins the sad off. Is this the okay. first time we've watched a show where characters compete for sadness? I, you know, I don't, I don't think we've experienced this before, but more shows should do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For us specifically. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you for listening. Please remember to rate, review, and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Uh, if you want to follow us on social media, we are at Rewatch Party Pod on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope everybody listening has a wonderful day. I'm Mark Green. I'm Harrison Bloom. And I'm Zach Horowitz. And until next time, keep rewatching. And if you're offered a threesome with Brooke, just take it. I hear she's fun.